Hello and welcome to Oakfield Farm. Uh, it's been a while since I last reported, but I'm alive and everything is fine, more or less. <clears throat> if you don't know yet, I'm Andrew of Border Farm Games, and today we are going to do some more mowing. Uh, uh, to that, I need to start the engine, otherwise it won't work. Uh, and to to comfort everybody, this is coming to an end because once we're done with this one and we have the silage, <clears throat> everything is perfect to keep the animals fed for a while, or it should be. All we gotta do is pick everything up. And put it either in front of the animals and or in storage. Uh, yeah, so this is what's going on. Now, this one is a large field, so I expect there is going to be some surplus that we may use to make money. That would be nice to make some money because I've been uh, fooling around on this map for some time now. Uh, never off camera. I decided that this uh, let's play or this series is going to involve everything I do in the <coughs> in the camera footage, um, and then. There is the other one, the DIY farm over in the US, where I do it differently, so uh, sort of experimentally by going on with my business and uh, and I only do show snapshots sometimes. Uh, speaking of which, I. Uh, really wanted to move on with that during the weekend, but that that came out or, or that my weekend that ended up to be pretty much useless uh, if I can put it this way. Like I had great plans about what to do, and I never came around to do those things that I wanted. Like for starters. Uh, now that we're talking about DIY form, I still owe you a huge time-lapse video, which I haven't forgot, where you can see lots and lots of good stuff going on. <clears throat> lots of action with the ideal that I have over there. This thing is a beaut. That thing is a beaut. We have one over here as well. But it's still not up to scratch, from what I know. So even when we move to harvest, it may come to the sad, sad part where we have to lease one. But at least we get to try something new. Something interesting. How about that? Uh, anyway, so... Uh, there is that, that time-lapse video, I haven't forgot, uh, forgotten, past participle, English teacher, there you go, uh, so, so there's that, and things are moving slowly in the background, I got some money, that I want to spend on getting the sheep over there. That could be a project in its own right. Or it's going to be. It's already decided that it's the next step. And I also do hope that I can work off some of the debt that I have over there. If all goes well, I have no debt in here. Which is just do because I had some debt back in 17 which I repaid uh, 
so yeah <clears throat> this is how things are and now I took that turn wrong let's fix it my OCD yeah so this is what's going on currently and originally I intended I cannot speak today again and I never really I I must admit I can't speak I'm horrible at this and yet I decided to do that on the internet to entertain people so maybe I'm ent entertaining in a cringeworthy way uh, so my intention <laughs> Uh, and I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, so I, I remember. So my intention was to have it a, a, a nice and easy and relaxed week where I don't do any videos. Maybe one. One together with Rob. As per usual. Uh, that means we already have to... <coughs> Sorry. My throat don't seem to get better. Uh, we just got out of the the winter over here. So, uh, but then I decided that now I have some time that I want to don't want to spend any other way. Yeah, I have time which I I don't want to spend any other way. Uh, um, so. I might as well do it, it's not that big of a deal. Come over and yap for about 40 minutes or so. That's absolutely easy. Apart from the fact that I cannot speak. Uh, so, yeah, this is where we stand in terms of traffic. In the channel and <clears throat> as for the farm this is really the the uh, home stretch of uh, the grass work that I've got going on once I'm done with this, we can move on to other things. Like I have uh, two fields waiting to be seeded with grass. That's still not done. Um, and then I have lots and lots of harvesting to do. And that involves a visit over at uh, Marvel Manor because obviously if it's harvest time here then why wouldn't be it harvest time like uh, I don't know a uh, hundred or hundred or and fifty miles away because if you check out on Google Maps if you don't know uh, the area where um, Oakfield farm is situated you can actually find the the section which Oxygen David used so that is literally just like two hours of drive away from the area where Marvel Manor is. So they really are close in real life. Uh, at least if you're thinking with. Oh, I'm messing this up big time, aren't I? So. At least if you're thinking, say with the US head or a young person's head for whom driving 150 miles is not that big of a deal. It's maybe not even two hours, but less. Really, if you count it. I'm a young person, so uh, it doesn't seem to be that huge of an issue in real life. Uh, anyway, so so of course there is harvest time over there as well, very very soon. So I thought we shall pay a visit over there. 
and we could have a good old time with the plexion that I've got over there and the nice uh, Brandner trailer and uh, the Fant uh, tractor that I've got over there and harvest the wheat uh, now I don't don't really have too much fields over there uh, I'm planning to expand it in the scope of this two farms gameplay series uh, and the so basically basically I have the, the starter fields and then one which I don't know the number of don't even ask it's a it's a meadow or a grass field uh, that I've got apart from the starting ones and I never really uh, messed around so those that were uh, grass are grass and those that were arable are left arable <coughs> albeit I I have the intention to change those around just simply because there is that starter field which is arable and got all those uh, electricity poles uh, in the middle of the field now that would be nice to be changed over to a grass field uh, I generally don't mind obstacles when handling grass but I don't really like on arable fields I mean if there's no other option I can live with it but obviously I could change around things and then replace that practically with one of the grass fields I was thinking about the one that I own uh, or, 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 or I bought sorry I own more of multiple grass fields obviously but so the one that I bought um, it's just the question of how they relate each other in terms of uh, size yeah and also the next time I'm going to buy land over there it's going to be arable fields used for arable purposes because uh, it's really not that I need so much fodder for animals uh, I, on, I only got a, a couple of sheep like 75 or so maybe not even 75 uh, over there so it's not really that uh, big of an issue as it is in here Uh, now, to be honest, uh, I have a few stacks of uh, silage bales lying around over there and I was considering bringing over some of them but uh, I, to be fair I'm quite lazy uh, and I'm too lazy to mess around uh, with the save files <laughs> and I promised you some more grass work anyway so uh, seriously a promise is a promise I'm a true gentleman and I always keep my promises and I offered you uh, offered you promised you grass work so this is what you get uh, yeah there's that oh well anyway <clears throat> I don't know how far we get today because this field is a handful um, and I honestly I forgot that it's that big I remembered smaller in my head we should be done with cutting around now and then I could move on to roll it Uh, 
but it's big. I was incorrect, or my memory, that cheated me. It's not that good anyway, not what it used to be. Um, a few years back, I had a dream <laughs> that one day I'm going to be a famous writer. So I started dabbling in writing, uh, and I have some uh, well, I have some writings, uh, and I revisited them uh, these days just for fun. Uh, in fact, I'm still not done with one of them, and I. Uh, reading through that, I just noticed that back when I wrote it, like three or four years ago, I don't even know. Mm, I could find it out if I checked uh, the date on the Word file. So, so I, I, I marveled at just how great my memory used to be, and how well I could keep track of what each character was doing in the story and all that uh, uh, it was by, by the way it was a it was a, a spy story heavily inspired by the TV show burn notice uh, which I think was still running back then and I enjoyed it very much uh, Yeah, and it involved, I mean my story involved lots and lots of characters and keep tracking of them was a handful. And I know that I, I did that uh, uh, quite well because I have no notes whatsoever that I, I could have used back in the day. Uh, now one of the reasons that I quit experimenting with these things is that I don't have times and it would only work if I had notes which I could go back to all the time uh, in fact it would be great if I sometimes put down some notes about what to talk uh, here but uh, did I already mention that I'm a lazy person I think I did and I can't emphasize that enough. I'm just very, very lazy. Which is bad, because I've got lots and lots of things to do right now. Um, yeah. And, I, and my memory is not what it used to be. I'm a useless human being, seriously, or a weak excuse. Sorry for that. And you gotta stick with me. Oh, these bushes. Mm. They certainly add to the uh, atmosphere of the map, or the vibe but they are in the way every now and then but it's all fine because for the most part this is a huge huge open field where we can work our magic very very well or I can work my magic. Um, and now that I I'm talking about that, I just suddenly realized that I was intended, or, or I planned to plow that field up and then re-seed it with grass. Because if you go to the minimap, or if I go, it's yelling that it needs plowing! And I'm like, 
Yeah, 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 but ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, and now you can hear sweet brown in your head. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm. So there, there's that. You're welcome. Oh yeah, and I've got that same action going on at Marvel Manor as well. Because I'm a lazy person and I haven't done that. Uh, like over there I have like 85 hours in that form. And in that 85 hours I never got around to redo my meadows. I'm a bad person, I know. The only reason I'm still here is that no one really... <clears throat> no one really prevents people from doing YouTube videos generally. And in terms of being YouTube worthy, it's not a not an issue uh, whether you handle your fields in farm sim right or not. So. I'm lucky, I guess. Shoo, shoo, stupid birds. It's my field, it's my grass. You have nothing to do here. Get up on my lawn! I don't don't go redneck. Doesn't suit me. I'm not that kind of person. Nice red horse baseball cap. Right, so. Okay, so I see that uh, this is getting more and more drawn out, and I think today's video is going to be about cutting this field and then the rest of it will be another video hopefully or I break my promise and I do the windrowing off camera I'm very very tempted to do just that 
and the more and more I think of it, the better and the better I like that idea. So I think this is what's going to happen, yes. You're gonna miss my uh, sloppy, stupid bin rowing. Tough titties, everybody. I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Speaking of which, ideas are coming and going in my head right now, and now I can see myself doing more than one video with Rob, but it depends on him. Because... No, nah, I don't say because then I spoil for him. No, nah, that's just... Ah, uh, yeah, there's that. I've got ideas for more than one video it's greatly time dependent though because we can make time mostly in the evenings and not even then at all the times things are happening like I've got business to do he's got business to do I mean we're both grown-ups uh, Life doesn't stop at sunset for us, especially for him, he's a freelancer, he really doesn't have regulated work hours for him, uh, except for the ones he lays down for himself. You know, that's cool, I mean, sometimes I envy him for being his own boss. But at other times I don't, because I know that as a lazy person, I couldn't do that. If I was my own boss, I would never ever work in my life. I would just fooling around all day. So, I need direction. I need at least one boss in my life. And I've always been like that, so... By this time I know myself quite well. Rob, he's doing it big time. Ah, again, these bushes. Ah, no, this, those aren't even bushes. Those are proper trees. But, then again, I cannot emphasize enough that without them, this map would be so, so empty. real nice
Okay. Slowly but surely we're getting there. I'm sure that this will be a huge bunch of grass and then a huge bunch of silage. Which is to be honest still quite good money. I mean silage. If the price is right you can make good money on it. If you have the patience. But patience is one of my strong suits. So that I say something uh, nice about myself, finally. Like, I'm very good at delaying gratification and stuff like that for myself. I'm definitely the kind of guy who would keep the one marshmallow to later receive two more. Uh, and then I would invest that marshmallow and grow rich out of that. There's that. And the grass cutting is done. And I've been yapping for quite some time. So I guess this is a wrap for today. Thank you very much for hanging around. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Yes, whatever is on your mind, put it down. And please don't forget my Facebook page. Where pretty much nothing's going on right now, but once I will have the time, I will get around to do interesting stuff over there. So yeah, that's that. Anyway, thank you once more. Bye-bye.